Hey, most of us, we get our heat and hot water from the basement, furnace or hot water heater, but if you live in Manhattan, chances are you're getting it from the central steam system. And that's what we're gonna talk about this week on Steam Culture. Now Manhattan is basically an island with 1.7 million people living in 22 square miles. It is packed in there, which makes it one of the most densely populated areas in the world. And the company that manages the steam system is Con Edison, or you may know them as Con Ed. And they have a fantastic website. I'd love for you to go look at it. There's all kinds of history and steam facts and facts about the system and how they operate it great information. So that's where a lot of this stuff came from. So let me tell you a little bit about it. This is the condensed version. So they operate uh, five main steam plants, produce 27 billion pounds of steam a year. That's a lot of steam. Their winter peak load is 10 million pounds an hour. Their customers range from apartment buildings to brownstone houses to the United Nations building to the Empire State Building. So you, you got all of them in there. There's 105 miles of uh, steam piping and steam mains, 3,000 steam manholes, and of course, steam manhole covers to go along with them, right? Okay. Well, the steam system is underground and largely isn't newsworthy, but in July 2007, it became newsworthy because a steam main ruptured right in downtown uh, Manhattan midday, blew a huge crater in the road and threw steam and debris you know, everywhere, it was, it was really a big deal. Now, these pictures you've just seen can really show you the power uh, of steam, and um, that obviously doesn't happen all the time, so you can see why it was newsworthy, right? Okay. Well guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed the information today. Go check out that website. Uh, check out our website, check out our videos, like and share them with someone that you like to share things with, and I'll see you next Friday.